Hey, what's up guys? David here. I'm with Mr. Eddie. Hey guys. Eddie here is gonna help me modify the Mustang again cosmetically. Oh, I've done two soup. no, now three superchargers. Yeah, three. <laughs> I did the Pro Charger, did the VMP Gen 2R for one dyno pull, and VMP was like, no, nah, not good enough. Put the 265 on it, and now it makes about 700 wheel horsepower on pump gas. So performance wise, acceleration wise, Eddie can match for you, it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's fine, it's, good. <laughs> it's real fine. It's got the wine wines and the crackle crackles, and it's all that yeah. good stuff. One thing I noticed is, Back in the day, in the early stages of my YouTube channel, I actually was doing tons of cosmetic stuff to the Mustang, very subtle. I did the California Special Wing, I did the Boss 2 Diffuser, I'll split her up front as well. But then I realized that years go by and I never touch Smurf again cosmetically. So today is gonna be the day we start kind of giving Smurf some love in order to celebrate 110,000 miles of this Mustang. So Smurf, you're gonna get some love. Okay, so here is Mr. Smurf, and you'll notice that with these 2013 Mustangs, they have these darkened taillights, which are factory with the LED strips all the way around. Don't worry, I'm not changing them. Because <laughs> the generation before, I didn't like all that much with the kind of candy cane taillights. The center deck lid is great, but the problem is over the years, you know, people touching it over and over again, it's starting to show some wear and tear right here from people grabbing it and leaving oils from their fingers and stuff like that. And you could refurbish it, but I chose not to because instead I'm gonna change this piece right here to carbon fiber. And it's real carbon fiber. We're not wrapping this. We're gonna just completely replace this piece. Now, is it gonna have any performance difference? No, <laughs> no I'm not gonna just lie to you and say, it's gonna make the car lighter, but it's gonna make it a little bit more tasteful. And I'm gonna just start doing mods that are very subtle to the Mustang. That way you guys could do it at home as well if you own one of these cars. So let me get the deck lid piece to show you how it all works. What do you got there, Eddie? I got a little carbon fiber right here. Some uh, some some carbon fiber goodies that we're gonna put on this here Mustang. What we're gonna do is that there's two screws on the inside of the trunk lid right here that we gotta unscrew. And then it should just pop off. And then we gotta do a little bit of shaving, hopefully not, but we're gonna see. And then we're gonna put this on. That's right, and also there's usually a piece of carpet under there, but I've already taken that off, so yes. we're good. So we're gonna do one, two, and then we're gonna basically heat up the deck lid, and we're gonna peel it up. I never will forget the first time I did the wing. This is the first wing I ever did, and drilling into a car's body for the first time is like the worst thing ever, because you see chunks of grabber blue just like flying around. You're like, I just got this car, and I'm already like ruining it. And the big thing is that you don't want to get too close or heat the same spot too much, because eventually, if you're debadging something, then the, the plastic will actually start melting and will start fizzling. So. Because this is the pretty much the cheapest heat gun you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's. About 20 bucks. And exactly. it's 750 degrees for reference. Just working my way up to the center. Okay. Well, we got it. <laughs> right. A plus. I think we should just leave it like that. It looks really you know, good. It does look pretty good like this. You know what I recommend is actually just painting it like red or like pink or something like that. It'll really bring it out. <laughs> Woman influence came in with actual taste. That is not allowed. <laughs> so, like so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna try and see if we can go ahead and take off this emblem and then see if we don't have to cut this with the carbon fiber uh, panel. If we do, we just gotta cut around this circle and then the emblem's just, just gonna fit right in there. Hey, typically, I could use my quick detailer, but a lot of the times, my Patterson Car Care degreaser that we sell, this thing gets rid of everything. Like, literally everything. It doesn't matter how much gunk there is. We're gonna use this to clean off this right here. It is safe for paint, so don't worry. And we're just gonna clean this all down, and then we're gonna have to get rid of this guy which is not gonna be fun. <laughs> okay, so now our issue is the deck lid is not gonna sit flush unless we get rid of this bump right here, which is not gonna be fun, but we're gonna take a Dremel tool and basically cut out this circle. That way the new deck lid with the new emblem can sit flush with this area of the back of the Mustang. Before we put on the new deck lid, we also need to use a little alcohol pad that 3M provides. 
and you just go around and do all that to make sure everything is completely clear and it's gonna stick. Is it a perfect circle? No. But is it enough to do the deck lid? Yes. Says that dude in blue. Oh yeah. It's like opening a tuna can. There. Damn, so professional. Yeah, yeah bro. That circle. Whoa, it's an oval. SpongeBob circle. <laughs> oh, what do you just? <laughs> I just took the sanding bit for the Dremel and went around it, smoothened it out a little bit. It's not perfect, but it's way better than it was. 3M primer. Eddie, yes. factory deck lit off, mm -hmm. did the trimming, yes. did the Dremel tool, yeah. <laughs> which went fine, actually, we were fine. Oh, Here's the adhesive. Another friend of mine has come. Introduce yourself, sir. Hello, Corey. Corey here has a beautiful IS wagon. I'm gonna go show you real quick while they do this. So right now, what we're doing is lining up the whole thing. We just did some masking tape to kind of line it up and arrow it down. The thing is, this is not concave like the factory one, in that there's a little bit of a challenge to line it up because it's a little bit different of a shape. So it's a beautiful day out right now, but the lighting right now is very hard to film. So I'm gonna close the garage door, okay. Look at that. Okay, sick. Now all that's left is the angle. Yep. So unfortunately we had to do some trimming to keep the emblem on the back, but it wasn't a big deal. We had the Dremel tool and we just shaved it down, took out the outside ring, and then it went flush with everything. Took a few of the studs out on the back as well, but now it's in there. And now basically we have to add some adhesive to this to make it work, so. Sounds good. So we just let the adhesives and all that kind of cure for a while. We went upstairs, played some video games, you know, really, really hard work. Yep. But then came downstairs, Almost nighttime now, and it is complete, and it looks freaking awesome. It does, looks great. Let's show it off. think about the carbon deck lid it looks really really good honestly i love it honestly he's not being paid to say that <laughs> no honestly you know i think i'm gonna start doing more cosmetic stuff to my cars because there's just something about the instant gratification it takes a lot of work i mean the emblem and all that that took a while to get down and line up and all that but when it comes to the satisfaction of seeing something that happens so quickly it's just so much fun, and the good thing is, this was a nice subtle piece. It didn't change the look of this car in a bad way, I don't think at all. Exactly. I was scared it almost was gonna look tacky, because you know, it's like black then carbon, and then people are gonna be like, he totally wrapped the deck lid in carbon. It's like, no, it's real. But other than that, did we, you know, did we get any weight savings from it? No, does it look nice? Absolutely. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had a great time. Huge thanks to Eddie. Here's his Instagram if you want to go follow him. And at the same time, thank you all so much for supporting me all these years of me not doing anything cosmetically to this car, uh, other than the exhaust we did a few months ago. But other than that, have a wonderful day, and we'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.